Now with the diffs ready to be put into the transmission, um, I like to clean everything out in the transmission case before I go ahead and install everything back in. Um, just use carb cleaner and just spray everything out real good so it's ready to, ready to go. Now the case has been cleaned, we're ready to put the diff in. Um, there's two different distinctive profiles of the diff. The speed gear side goes down in towards the case so the speed gear can actually uh, mate with it on the back side here. So we're going to simply drop the uh, differential assembly in there into the case and spin it. It spins good. So we're ready to install the main and counter shafts now. The next step is to reinstall the main and counter shafts and the gear selector forks. Um, what I like to do is to prop up the case so that the input shaft bearing um, will be able to drop all the way down through and not get hung up. So I usually prop something underneath it so I'll have a little bit more clearance so this won't bottom out onto the bench. And you're just going to simply pick up the shafts, you're going to line your three points here with your three points in the case here, and your uh, main and counter shaft are going to line through the holes here. So I'm going to pick it up. and they're going to fall into place just as simple as that. The next step is to install the gear change selector base. Um, you need to be careful. There's three different positions that your selector can be in here. You need to make sure that it's in the middle of all the positions. You can kind of run it through and feel each time it clicks. But you want to be right about in the middle. And you want to line everything up here. This goes in the base here. and pretty much drops in like that and you're going to tighten the 10 mil bolts down now. After you snug the bolts down, you're just going to simply go, go through and hand tighten down the bolts. Um, I usually go by feel. I usually try not to torque them maybe 10 to 15 foot pounds at most. Um, just so because it's on aluminum, it can pull through the aluminum fairly easy. Next thing we need to do is to install the shift piece shaft, shift piece and interlock into the uh, shifter assembly here. Um, you want to line all your uh, shifter fork bottom parts here um, and you're going to slide this in. Like that. Next thing we need to do is install reverse gear on the slider shaft. Uh, the slider shaft has a little dowel here and the case has a corresponding dowel hole. Uh, so you're going to want to Line that up with the with the case. Slide it in, and this will just pivot like that. We need to install the reverse um, selector, so we're gonna let it grab the gear there, and line it up over here. And the next step is just to put the two 10 mil bolts in right here. Tighten them down. Next step before reinstalling the top half of the case is to use a scotch brite or a Brillo pad and clean any excess Honda Bond or RTV material that's been placed on the mating surfaces here so you don't get an oil leak. Next step after cleaning uh, the mating surfaces um, is to use a high temp sealer. We're going to use a high temp RTV uh, silicon gasket maker. Uh, Honda Bond works really well as well. so. It's going to spread a thin amount over one of the mating surfaces here. We applied the RTV seal to the outer, outer uh, edge of the case here. Um, there's a few last minute things that we need to make sure of. Uh, one, the magnet here should be cleaned. I've already cleaned this, I didn't show that. Uh, and two, the uh, underneath the bearing here there's a, there's a, there's a wash or a shim and there's a, there's a neck on it. Um, it needs to be approximately, looking at the transmission case this way, it needs to be approximately 12 o'clock facing here. Uh, so now we're going to put the transmission case on. Now the next step is to spread the spring clip that's located right here with your snap ring pliers 
and you're going to be tapping down on the transmission case to allow the case to close down onto the gear set. Now that the snap ring has almost snapped all the way in and the case is sealed, uh, we need to put the 16 12 mm HUD bolts in all around the edge of the case and we need to tighten them all down. These pretty much turn all the way in, now it's just going to go through and uh, hand torque them down. They're usually less than 20 foot pounds of torque. I just do them by hand, have a, a good feel, make sure they're just nice and snug, not anything excessive. Next step is to put the check balls back in to the transmission case. Just let them go in and take your two 12 mm HUD bolts with a spring loaded uh, spring inside and you're going to just thread them in. Um, we're going to hand torque these again. They're, you know, again, less than 10 to 20 foot pounds of torque in that range. Um, I just do them nice and hand snug and that's good right there. Now the last few things we need to do is the uh, grounding bracket on the transmission case. It's going to be these two holes here. Just going to thread this in. And the reverse idler shaft bolt. And again, we're going to hand torque these once they're all the way tightened. Ready to put the speedo back in. Um, it's just going to mesh up with the speed gear. I'm just going to kind of twist a little bit, get it lined up, take the 10mm bolt, put it in the threads, and tighten it down. The very last thing we have to do is uh, make sure that the snap ring is snapped into the groove located in, inside the bearing here. Um, if it's not snapped in, it's not going to be holding the shaft. So what we need to do is actually tilt the transmission and tap on it so it actually snaps into it. So I'm going to do that now. You can see the snap ring is now into the groove that's located on the bearing that's holding the shaft. Uh, so we're ready right now to put the 32 mil half inch head uh, seal on. Um, it's a fine thread. We're just going to tighten it down by hand and use the half inch drive and we're going to snug it down. Finish by tightening this down by hand. It's about as tight as it needs to go. And one last thing before transmission. We need to check to make sure that everything's working inside. So I'm going to spin the input shaft and everything feels good, nothing's hanging up. And you can bend shift the transmission using your input here. It goes through all the gears and it shifts smooth. So the transmission's ready to go.